Welcome back to Jersey Matters. God forbid you have a loved one die during this pandemic. Because of social distancing, it's impossible to hold a funeral. Our Phil Andrews spoke with a funeral director who said it's been destroying his business. Phil. Like firemen, they run into buildings when everyone's running out. Cops are running towards the bullets when people are running away. But when there's death, we don't run away. In his 27 years in the business, funeral director Kenneth Cattenhead has never seen anything like he has during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it has him truly concerned. We're scared. All of us. We're scared. And it's a health issue. I've been telling people since day one, I said, this thing is airborne. All the news didn't say that. I went to school for this. Trust me, it's airborne. Right. Then weeks later, oh, I guess you were right, you think? How do you think it got around the world that fast? Right. AIDS in trouble that fast. Right, right. You know, some funeral has been doing it longer than I have. They said, Ken, during the, the, the height of AIDS, it was not this drastic. Uh, one funeral home, I was told, he closed up shop. He don't want nobody in his funeral home. He's scared. Wow. People understand we're scared. Like many of his colleagues across New Jersey, Director Cattenhead is overwhelmed by spiking death toll numbers in the Garden State. But he does his best not to turn anyone away. Sunday, I had a family call me at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, would you please take us? I've never had a request like that before. And you can hear it in their voice. When I spoke to the officer, they said for two hours, the officer and the family are calling different funerals between two counties to get some help. And they called me and I said, woke me up from my sleep, which is, goes with the nature of the business. Would you please take us? Yeah, I couldn't tell them no. I just could not bear myself to tell them no. I didn't really have room for them, but I make the adjustments. Then later on in the afternoon, I have a second family, exact words, would you please take us? For me to say no would have been more damaging to me mentally. Quite, our job is to help. Because of space restrictions, many funeral directors have had to rely on local hospitals to keep the deceased until they're able to attend to those in need. Not to be disrespectful, we leave them in the hospital because it's not required by law in New Jersey that the funeral home have to have refrigeration. So we leave them in the hospital as long as we can, meaning hospitals are calling, when can you pick up so-and-so? We need the space. And once they're um, artillery and, and, and bombed, they're okay. Funeral directors are still trying to allow families to grieve while abiding by social distancing guidelines, which at the moment allows for only a 10-person limit at the cemetery, including clergy and funeral director. Some cemeteries aren't allowing any family members at all. In Newark, for Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews.